So I'm Ellie Biondi and I manage the Princess of West Conservatory. Together with my team, on a daily basis, we look after the plants, we water them. Sometimes we have uh, to re-landscape some areas, which is quite exciting because you can design and you can find new plants to put. But also it's just a normal, if you want, gardening. <laughs> so pruning, mulching, and just looking after the, the amazing varieties that we have here. The Princess of West Conservatory is the most complex glass house at Kew because we've got 10 different climatic zones. And this is quite scary <laughs> because you have to, to know a lot of plants. There are different needs. At the moment we are in the sort of dry area, so there will be less watering. But there's on um, the rainforest, for example, the plants are really thirsty and also hungry. So we do water them and we feed them We've got a very big pond with the giant water lilies and so then we plant them again in the spring. So there are all sorts of different jobs. We're always quite busy. <laughs> it's quite difficult to find uh, favourite plants because they're kind of all my children and I can't <laughs> have favourite ones. But I think it, there are times of the year where some plants are just uh, unmissable. So the jade vine uh, comes uh, from Philippines and it's quite interesting because uh, this plant is actually part of the pea family which is quite different from a pea plant. The colour is something that it doesn't even look real. It's uh, also very cool because it's pollinated by bats. Unfortunately, we do not have bats in the Princess of West Conservatory. So we pollinate uh, this plant manually. We do it, we pretend to be bats. And then the browner grandiceps. So in, uh, in the spring, it produces amazing inflorescences. They're kind of like pom-pom and the color is almost like a dark salmon pink. So working here is, uh, is it's really nice because you get to work with plants that, that are rare, some of them are endangered, so you feel like you are doing something positive for the next generations. But also the public that is usually very enthusiastic and very, very happy. And um, one of the things that maybe I like the most is uh, having to work with students, which they come more or less every three months and they're always uh, so interested and uh, it's very refreshing and it kind of keeps you on your toes if you want because you teach them and they teach you so it's, it's, uh, it's just very rewarding. <laughs>